All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday training here for Savion. Uh, my name is Steve Gowacki. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at Savion Corporate, and I'm joined today by a special guest and co-host today, Zach Heilman, who's been helping out with the chat. But Zach's also going to be uh, jumping into the conversation with me here today. Zach, uh, do you got your microphone live here? I believe so. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Um, Maybe you can just go on for mute for just a moment here. I'll open up and then uh, we'll uh, get into the conversation yep. here back and forth. Sounds great. I want to make sure you get your mic on and he's mic'd up, ready to go. So um, anyway, we're uh, excited here, guys. We're just uh, jumping here in the first uh, part of July, July 2nd today, um, in preparation for the celebration of Independence Day here on Monday. So for those of you listening today from the U.S., hope you have an enjoyable uh, weekend here. I know a lot of activities being planned uh in our household this weekend. So appreciate you taking a little bit of your time this holiday weekend. And for those of you uh, listening around the globe, thank you for also tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to do a simple recap of some of the things going on in Savi. And obviously there's a lot of uh, uh, moving parts happening right now, which is great. And uh, we're always excited when we've got things uh, ready to take off here in, in, uh, in a major way. And this past week, um, we uh, introduced MAP and the GRSM, and uh, that uh, is now available on the join page as an option to get started uh, with a pass uh, globally. So uh, anybody that uh, wanted to get involved in the MAP program or GRSM can now do so with a pass. And, uh, of course, we're uh, in anticipation of uh, Tuesday night's president's update with John Sheehan and uh, we are expecting uh, the announcement to come from John that uh, we'll be green lighted to go ahead with the credit card processing and I believe Aaron Tucker will be probably a special guest once again uh, who is with the credit card company on Tuesday night's call right after the holiday is there's no, just a reminder there is no call on Monday because it is the 4th of July um, but uh, Tuesday night will be our special President's call and update where we anticipate that the announcement will come forth that credit cards are going to be turned on and Aaron Tucker, I believe, will be a guest speaker there on Tuesday night's call. So that is exciting. That that means we're going to be in full swing next week uh, with that. And uh, that would include um, the uh, the circuit card uh, as well. That would include, you know, uh, getting registration enrollment in for the circuit cards and get those out so that uh, everybody can start to get uh, paid out on their cash wallet and their uh, e-wallet commission. So it's all happening here this next week, guys, and that's very exciting stuff. And um, other than that, you know, we have a lot of other promotions that are going to be announced as well on Tuesday night. I know many of you have heard about the 3-2 promotion um, where you can uh, basically purchase two months and get a third month added to that uh, for uh, your membership. And, uh, and also additional matching promotions. There's a lot of different cash-making promotions that are going to be announced officially here this next week as well. So, uh, Zach, why don't you go ahead and come on on the mic and uh, give us your thoughts. Uh, and uh, i got to tell you, Zach and Susan, they've been traveling all over the country um, on their summer expedition, and uh, it's been fun watching them. But yet, even though they're traveling, having a good time, living the life, they have been working as hard as anybody. It's amazing how they uh, they – uh, they haven't missed a beat. He's just as if he was in his office chair every day, 12 hours a day, but yet in his office chair is in his Jeep driving around the country. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Zach, but uh, where are you at today? Uh, today, can you be first off? Am I back on? Yep, you're great, and I can hear you loud and clear. Awesome. Yeah, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona, and the weather is crazy here today. I was up uh, early because we switched time zones. But at sunrise, there was a storm rolling in. I got to see a, a rainbow, which is kind of cool. First thing in the morning at 530, I've never seen that before. But, yeah, Steve, you're right. Um, the, the beauty of a, this business specifically and, and really any business in this industry is your office can be anywhere. Everything is so mobile, and Savion had the, the foresight and the wisdom and, and more importantly, the uh, talent on the back end to put this in place with the app that's about to come out. Um, I know we've been approved on Google. You can't download it yet. They haven't opened that up. Uh, and last night we're still waiting on Apple, but that announcement should be coming here hopefully on the 5th, but if not very soon thereafter. 
And I really wish we'd had this app earlier because, uh, like Steve had mentioned, Susan and I have been traveling. Uh, we've been on the road since uh, June third, so we're just uh, we're just into our second twenty eight eight day cycle today. Um, but we've gone to a, into a lot of local establishments and didn't get twenty percent cash back. Um, if we would have had the app up, guess where we would have been looking on places to eat and places to shop? We would have been looking at uh, not only how can we get 20% cash back ourselves, but how can we support people that are supporting Savion? So it's kind of a symbiotic relationship that we're setting up here with uh, the different merchants. And uh, it's been a blast. Uh, tomorrow we're headed to Los Angeles. We'll spend the 4th of July in L.A. And then more importantly for, for all of you guys on this line, um, Susan and I will be live in the support center Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, to help out with support and uh, kind of position ourselves as a, a liaison between the field and uh, support to better support uh, the field. So that's where we're at. That's where we'll be next week. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, I think it's great that you and Susan are so committed uh you know, to uh, to helping uh, the field, and, and you guys are going to spend that week out there, and that's going to be great training for you guys too, just to, um, you know, see what happens out there in the support and re relay that back to the leaders out in the field because a lot of people just don't, you know, fully embrace what they're doing back there and how busy they are and stuff. But uh, it'll be great that you get to kind of spend a week out there with them. And not, not only that, I know you guys will learn a lot too, and you'll be a great help to them. So really appreciate your commitment to, to being out there next week and, and uh, helping the field out, um, you know, we're just we're uh, just anticipating that the month of July is going to be an absolutely explosive month. And you know, one of the uh, really exciting uh, developments here is this map program with the mobile app. And uh, I think we're going to, you know, we're going to kind of focus more on that today. Although obviously, a lot of people have been waiting a long time for the GRSM to come out, but we already know G we already know the RSM program is uh, very, very powerful. People are loving 20% cash back, but now that you can add in, you know, uh, the opportunity to add another 10 stores from the map section of Asavia, which is going to, you know, it's already populating. I mean, have you noticed that, Zach, this past couple of days, people have already been enrolling map members already? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In, in the back office, uh, on our enrollments, we see uh, maps popping in there. Uh, different businesses. I know there's a Facebook group that's specifically designed for MAP that uh, Bill Toth, one of the winners of the uh, President's Award this past weekend, uh, put together. So it's specifically for the MAP. And uh, we've been seeing people pop on. And uh, Susan and I personally haven't enrolled any any uh, merchants just yet. But in every conversation we've had with merchants, they're absolutely open to it, want more information. And uh, it's just incredible. I, I don't know if you want me to go into this, Steve, just yet, but the the leverage factor that takes place when you're able to bring merchants and leverage their existing summer base into the Savion compensation plan is just absolutely incredible. Do you want me to touch on that now? Go right ahead, Zach. Absolutely. Awesome. So the, the conversation we've been having with people um, – both inside our network and outside, but I'll just give you an example. We've got a guy um, up in the uh, Syracuse, New York area. He's a regional manager for Verizon Reseller. I was talking with him about it, and he's like, yeah, this makes sense for the business. You know, at our, at our top store, we've got about, uh, I think he said like 5,500 door swings a month. So for you guys not in the retail space, that's how many people are coming in and out of the store. So the game plan we're putting together with him and some other merchants, we talked to a restaurant guy today who's got two restaurants uh, in Pennsylvania as well. But just to get a little uh, placard or uh, signage on the front door of the business and also maybe like a, a tabletop type of thing at the point of sale with some brochures or possibly even an iPad to use the mobile marketing in there so people get into their number. But it's, 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 it's so simple the signage is simply this, something to the effect of Savion members enjoy 20% cash back here. Yeah. So I know most everybody that's you know on this webinar today is already in Savion. They're familiar with it. They know about it. But take, take a different view of it as if you'd never heard of Savion and you walk into you know, your local 
your local establishment, your local retail establishment, if you saw a sign at the front door that said Savvy on members enjoy 20% cash back here, and then you got another impression at the point of sale on the purchase you're about to make, the likelihood of people asking, how do I do that, is high. So the, the volume of the one store I mentioned, you're talking 5,000 customers in that store a month. That's 10,000 impressions on potential members. Of, the, of that, a bunch are going to ask and a bunch are getting going to get involved. And the way this compensation plan is set up, and I don't want you to go in with this mindset whatsoever at all, but it will happen to some people. Some people will get lucky and they'll just bring on two merchants and they'll explode their savvy on business with the 50% line max with those kind of numbers, you know, 5,000 people through the door. It doesn't take long to get 375 customers when you got that kind of numbers coming in. And when that merchant starts seeing a return, you know, of whether it's just a $5 a day and he's free or 20, 30, $50 a day in a short amount of time, <laughs> just by the nature of things, when people find a good deal, they tell other people, business owners know other business owners. So now you're leveraging into that business owner's network, not his existing customer base, you are, but also his business friend's network. So people are going to, are absolutely going to explode their savvy on network marketing business while giving this tremendous value to the merchants. The it's it's a 10x factor if you follow Grant Cardone, it really is a 10x factor where people will ex absolutely explode their uh, their savvy on businesses in in very short amount of time. You'll see a lot of people ranking up in July and moving forward through the summer of Savion. So definitely exciting I, stuff for sure. I absolutely love what you just said about how you could only introduce Matt to two business owners, one for team one, one for team two, and just through the reach of those two business owners, how far that can take you. I mean, the fact that each business owner may have you know, several hundred to several thousand customers that are going through their uh, doors every month, as you said. On top of that, those business owners are connected to other business owners through their business networks and so forth, other suppliers, other vendors they do business with, other partners, other, uh, you know, just their neighbor to the left and the right of them on the street that they do business. I mean, they have their own connection to other business owners in the community. And, Zach, you and I talked about uh, last week about the idea of rolling map as out, out as a, an employee benefit. So think oh, about it. If you yeah. go, to, if you go to a store owner who has multiple locations, you know maybe they got ten stores, twenty stores, fifty stores. Maybe it's a, a bigger one. They got more than that. But this, or they have one facility that uh, maybe employs fifty to hundred people. Um, if, let's just say they have a hundred total employees in their company. They can also, you know, roll this out as an employee benefit in the future. Now we don't have that available right now. I just want to be clear on that. But we're just kind of brainstorming here this last week of the potential of where Matt can go. Uh, I worked in the employee benefit field for about three years with another company um, uh, you may be familiar with called Prepaid Legal back about eight nine years ago, and uh, I got to tell you that that arena is massive absolutely massive in its potential uh, when you get an employer to endorse the product for their employees and you can offer it on an after-tax payroll deduction it absolutely is uh, it's it's really an easy sale to make and uh, employees love it because it just you know disappears out of their check and they don't even have to worry about it and it's you know high retention business you know it uh, those memberships never lapse uh, really because they're always being taken out of their paycheck first um, on an after-tax basis, but uh, uh, that's a whole other arena, Zach, that you and I talked about that Matt could grow into. Yeah, the the employee benefits. I mean, we haven't, you know, we haven't put anything together from from a corporate standpoint. But there's no reason in in your conversation with the business owner that they can't you can't have that conversation and they just do it, you know. And so you find the right business owner if they've got the right number of employees. In essence you won't be signing up affiliates. You'll be signing up VIPs. You'll be signing up elites because they'll be rolling it right out of the gate and roll and roll and roll and roll. And they're set up right out of the structure. And you've also incentivized 
your employees who may be in an hourly type situation, you've incentivized them to have some of those conversations with the existing customers, you know, beyond the brochure where they can say, yeah, hey, I'm a member too. And I, you know, I enjoy my 20% cash back here, but I also enjoy it, you know, on the gas I use to drive here on the, uh, the uniform or outfit that I'm wearing to get here. I enjoy it on my lunch break, you know, and also my wife enjoys it with the groceries and, and buying clothes for the kids and all that stuff. You've incentivized those employees to help grow the network marketing side of the business in addition to whatever that traditional retail establishment is. So I, I already foresee people signing up, you know, merchants out of the gate, not really signing up as affiliates. I mean, obviously they would from, you know, the map program, but they'll also, a bunch of them will also, a guy I talked to today, he's looking at the RSM for him and his family and to map because he's got two restaurants and we already, he already talked about talking with his business partner and the, the GMs of both stores. So right out of the gate, how many memberships is that? You know, that's five or six memberships. And that was in a 20 minute conversation this morning. So it's, it, it's incredible. It's a, it, it is incredible. You can sit and just, you know, kind of brainstorm and potentialize map for hours. I mean, literally you look at it from the business owner standpoint, how many different ways do they win? I mean, just being a MAP member, of course, their primary concern is their ongoing business, you know, their brick-and-mortar store that uh, they're trying to increase traffic for. And, you know, remember, it is a primary and advertising product for them to get more recognition and exposure to people in the community and the area around them and other people around, the, you know, uh, the country that are traveling through that area that want to maybe stop in and, and uh, you know, uh, participate in their business for whatever product service they have who are also uh, looking to use their map uh, stores but um, the other side of it is as you mentioned is that what if what if that business owner does actually promote Savion a little bit to at least three customers or maybe a couple other partners or a couple other uh, business owners they know on the, on the block and they go ahead and get their three enrolled and they become a founder now their advertising is literally being paid for uh, through Savion uh, to get double promotion. They're actually going to be starting to generate residual income. At the same time, they're getting exposure and promotion for their primary company, and they're not paying anything out of their pocket. Is that's just incredible? Yep. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing where this can go. Um, it, it can go viral pretty quick. I mean, we all know how fast stuff moves on the internet and how apps, uh, you know, b become popular. And it's incredible from, from the merchant standpoint, just the fact that they can get paid to advertise their business as opposed to paying to advertise their business and a, a viral hold on, hold on. side of Zach, this. Zach, sure. Hold on. Say that again, guys, write this down, grab a pen and paper and write this down. This is a key phrase right here i mean this is this is beautiful say that again they can get instead of paying to advertise their business they can get paid to advertise their business wow wow that is huge and that is when a you, huge opportunity it, right steve there. i literally have goosebumps right now thinking about that that is um, amazing now those existing customers let's just say i'll use the verizon reseller guy that i had mentioned Say, uh, uh, you know, Joe customer walks into the store, he sees that sign there, but then he decides to buy a, a Bluetooth speaker, say for a hundred dollars or, you know, a hundred and I'll just use a hundred for round numbers. So now at the point of sale, the general manager who's also involved, sees this guy's buying a hundred dollars. He's like, I can get you $20 off of that right now today, you know, here to the side or whatever. That person can literally, from the point of sign up, make that purchase, start populating their, their cash back with that, but they can also share that to their social media that I just got $20 cash back at Joe's Verizon store. So the, from the merchant standpoint, he now has a customer advertising to his social networks. So he just, that customer, let's say they've got a thousand friends and followers or whatever. I'll even 
put that down the, the average for a, a, so someone on Facebook is about 350 400 they just advertised to 350 or 400 people and what did it cost the merchant exactly so he just created in in the advertising impressions is, is huge that's 400 impressions you know and maybe the Verizon isn't the best example but let's say the local, I'll just say Joe's Pizza, you know, where people go in there on a regular basis. It's their favorite pizza shop. They order, you know, pizza out every Thursday night for pizza night for the family. They spend $50. You know, they get um, $10 cash back on that. If one of your friends on social media, you saw them getting, you know, $10 cash back a week at your local pizza shop. Think about that. Are you going to be... You're, you're seeing that advertisement from a friend as opposed to the business owner you don't know. You're, gonna, you're likely to ask your friend, how, how are you doing that? That's going to generate more business for that business owner. I had mentioned it before, how Sue and I are traveling. Well, if we're looking to go out to eat, you already look at the instant savings benefits where you can get savings, but imagine getting savings and cash back. We'd be, we'd be I'm itching for the app. Because I travel, so I can add those 10 on the fly when we go out and do stuff. I would be looking to those merchants that are inside of Savion, which for them, that merchant would be a new customer because I wouldn't have heard about them otherwise. That's right. So their existing customers start doing advertising for them at zero cost. And because of that, they're also getting new customers at zero cost. A customer acquisition model where you're getting new customers at zero advertising dollars. Talk to some traditional business owners and ask them if they'd like that situation. You know, right? It, it's crazy. It is crazy. And and the thing I love uh, also about the Savion app is that it does um, give you a chance to broadcast out to your social networks, as you mentioned, your accumulated savings. Each time you're saving, you can share. You know where that occurred and how much, and that mm -hmm. that uh, that continuous dripping on your uh, friends' uh, network on whatever social network you're on Facebook, Instagram, wherever it happens to be, uh, Twitter. Uh, you're going to be able to uh, start to draw people in, and you know uh, we've always said that you know when you uh, you just put out the message of saving money and showcasing that and and dripping that out there versus you know kind of hitting people straight up with an opportunity. Sometimes that's too abrupt for people. They're not ready for that. They're not interested in getting hit up with something. But when you just share the experience of saving 20% cash back and you're just dripping on them with actual results and you're posting that out there, people are seeing that every day. You know the uh, seeds being planted in their mind. They're thinking, how is he doing that? Or how is she doing that? Or how, how are they saving all this money? And eventually, it's going to prompt them to call you, or they're going to message you back and say, "What is this thing you're doing? What is this Savian thing? I see you putting out these, you know, you, you, you know, last week you saved sixty dollars or seventy dollars or whatever it is. You're gonna, it's gonna become a prospecting machine. It's gonna generate a lot of interest. People coming Absolutely. to you, you're not gonna be chasing people. I believe people are gonna be chasing after you, saying. Where where do I get this thing? How do I how do I get what you're getting? And that is another byproduct of this whole mobile app map program that is going to create so much exposure in a customer centric way. It's not going to be a a hype driven recruiting money making approach. This is from the back end customer driven you know to the average consumer out there who is going to be taking note of this and coming back and saying. This looks great. I've got to find out more about this. And then you're going to open up the whole path into bringing on a new member and eventually an affiliate. And one other point, Zach, I would say that it, from my standpoint, being you know chief marketing officer and one of the areas I'm really you know uh, in charge of is compliance. The thing I love about Map is that we're bring we're going to bring on customers. tens of thousands of customers, customers, just users of the membership who. Uh, are just going to love saving money. And uh, we're reaching out into that next tier of the marketplace that most network marketing companies never reach into. And that is that broad-based consumer uh, group out there that never really looks at a network marketing company. But here, I believe they will because of this just an unbelievable offer. Yeah, 
Absolutely. And and when you're talking about the the sharing of that cash back to drip, you know, the example I used of ten dollars may not turn some heads, but if you look at the slide that Steve has up now, it shows you your month as well. So, you know, on the screen it's 187.75, but when you add that, you know, from go from, you know, 10 bucks to 100 or more, that when your average consumer out there or your average person, a lot, a lot of people live in paycheck to paycheck, they see an extra 100, 200 dollars in cash back and you've already shown them that it's, you know, at the Exxon, at Joe's Pizza, at you know, the, the local grocery store or whatever, they're like, wait, I'm already spending this money and I'm not getting cash back. I really need to call and talk to, to so-and-so who's been, who's been dripping this on me for the past several weeks or months. It, it's incredible. I was thinking of an approach, you know, I'm sure some people listening right now watching the webinar are kind of thinking, oh, this sounds so great and awesome and amazing, but how do I actually share it with a small business owner, what would I actually say? And I was just thinking of an approach uh, off the top of my head that maybe would be pretty uh, uh, pretty interesting. And, and it, it kind of follows a line of if I can show you a way to do yada, 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 would you take 10 minutes so I can show you how? That's kind of the outline of the approach. But now we fill in the blanks with what Zach said earlier. Zach, I want you to repeat one more time what I asked him to write down. Uh, so I'm going to say if I can show you a way to do what? Say it. If I, could if I could show you how to get paid to advertise instead of paying to advertise, would you? do I have enough credibility with you to get 10 minutes of your time? Boom. There it is, guys. That is the approach right there that I would be going out every day with. That's so easy. That is yeah. so easy. We did it to, wow. a, to a stranger at a coffee shop, you know, a little coffee shop in Pagosa Springs. And absolutely got their email address. Once we've got the video and stuff to go for, they're interested. And the guy's got a music shop, too. So that was literally over purchasing our coffee. Wasn't someone we knew. I suggest going to the people you know first, you know, of course. So, um, I mean, but can you guys see how easy that is? I, let's say that one more. Say it one more time, Zach. Write this down. Write way this to down. Get, if I could show you a way to get paid for advertising your business instead of paying to advertise your business, would you be interested in hearing some more information? And there it is. And guys, I want to tell you that uh, we're going to be ch we're going to be changing up the weekly webinar schedule. We're not going to do RSM webinars five days a week anymore. We're going to break it up. We're going to do uh, map only webinars um, a couple days a week. We're going to do the RSM webinars. We might do a GTM webinar. We're going to mix up the whole schedule now to feature the different products that we have to offer. So that's so you could right there they can say, yeah, how do I, uh, you know, what's it all about? And that's when you can invite them to a webinar. Uh, we'll have some recorded presentations put up in YouTube in the back office. Um, you know, very soon we'll have uh, the a full capture page and video and all that kind of system. So. You know, you can drop them right into that. Just say, give me your phone. I'll text you a link to it, and then you can drop them in that way. A lot of different ways you can go with it from there. But that's the most important opener right there is that if I could show you a way to show you how to advertise and get paid in versus you paying yourself, and I can't say as good as Zach did. I, I, I tell you, it's just awesome how he says it. Um, that, would, uh, that would be the easiest thing to just get that door open for you so that you can take him to the next step. And it's always going to be about a series of exposures, about getting them from point A to point B to point C. Point A is to get them, you know, secure the interest with the opener we just gave you. Point B is to get them into a presentation so that they can uh, learn more about it. And then the third part would be a follow-up three-way, you know, with somebody in your upline support team that can help you wrap up the questions and get them started. So, um, yeah, I, wanna, I tell you. I want to touch on that, Steve, that, the the third party deal the the three way call um, a lot of people especially people who've been involved in network marketing or in Savion for a while now they know a whole bunch of the answers um, they they know the answers to the questions so they want to answer those questions but the power of using that third party is incredible it, it's social proof. It's a two versus one situation. You can lend your credibility to someone else. And it also shows that 
you're not alone and there's team support available because the questions people have when getting started with network marketing businesses, number one, does this make sense to me? Uh, number two, can I do this? And, will, and number three, will I have support? Whether people ask you those questions or not, they're absolutely thinking them on a conscious or sub, subconscious level. So using that third party, I can't stress enough, you know, and Kevin touches it all on, on all the time. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard it before. Um, using the phrase I'm new with people, even if it's with your business owner guy, you know, you don't have to be the, the sales suit and tie, you know, just have a regular conversation, you know, that, I found something out. If I could show you a way to get paid for advertising instead of paying to advertise, would you be interested in more information? Awesome. You would here. Check out this quick video. Do you have any questions? Awesome. Here's Kevin. Like I said, I'm new. He knows all the answers. Absolutely crushing this, you know, that third party, I, you can't stress it enough. I know you've heard it before, but hear me that it, it's so, so powerful to not be alone in it. Absolutely, and um, you know, when whenever you get to the point where you feel like you have to be the one to answer the questions and try to do that on the spot with a business owner, you're kind of slipping from being a network marketer into becoming a salesperson. And a lot of people mm -hmm. don't really want to become salespeople, uh, where you know they're going to try to know everything, to all questions, and they're going to try to you know resort to sales tactics. And most people don't want to be sold; they just want to learn and they want to be given an opportunity to research and be a part of something. So when you stay in the network marketing mode and you bring the information, you bring them through the process, and then you simply say, you know what, um, let me get somebody else on the line that can help me out and and uh, and and get those answers for you. You're you're simply demonstrating that you know um, you're not trying to be a professional salesperson. You're trying to share something you really believe in, and that's that's a big difference. I mean, um, people receive it a lot more in a friendly way that way and when you use that third party it, it, it just makes all the difference in the world and trying to you know be that one-stop close uh, type of person and it kind of just switches you back into a direct sales mode versus you know uh, being a network marketer sharing something that you think is a really great offer for that that business owner um, anything to add on to that Zach I want to kind of segue into ISB for a minute when you're if you have any other thoughts um yeah, we're we're not salesmen. We're sharesmen. It's 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 about sharing. It, it really is, and that's it. Gets back to what how network marketing, you know, the core principles of it is. It's use a product. You if you enjoy it and you like it, you share it with your friends, family, neighbors, and that type of thing. The people in your network. It's you know over the past ten years or so, a lot of it with you know, some advancements in compensation. A lot of people have tried to turn it into a money type of game and, you know, really getting into, you know, getting early and all that good, all that stuff. Not that that's bad, but the core of how it works is you enjoy a product or service and you share that service. Most, you know, originally people came on as customers enjoying something and then they started sharing it. More today and especially in early stage companies it's more about recruiting and sales and and all that type of thing if you if you push it back to sharing it becomes more powerful it doesn't become a a, a sales you don't become that guy you know that your friends kind of shy away from because you're bringing them another something it's it literally is just a share type of situation you know that's what i've got absolutely. for that absolutely absolutely and, and we're going to try to build all the the tools and the presentations to be centered around a sharing concept, not so much uh, a selling, you know, salesman concept. I mean, ultimately, are we selling? Of course we are. Of course, it's what we're doing, but it's the mindset. It's the approach. It's not that we're trying to, you know, corner a business owner into joining this moment with, you know, eight ways to overcome their objections and, you know, and try to uh, make sure we don't leave that store before they sign the paperwork. It's not that kind of mentality. Those are the, you know, business to business salespeople you know, they're typically one-stop closers, and that's kind of the mindset that these business owners, they're kind of prepared for that sometimes. They kind of got their defenses up. But when you're just in there just saying, wow, you know, uh, you got to check this out. It's just something that you're excited about, and it's a sharing mode. Uh, you're going to find a lot softer uh, response from the business owners too. Unless, again, um, Zach, you're right. If it's your friends, your family, your, of course you're going to have a much easier time um, 
getting their attention versus mm -hmm. a, someone you just walked in off the street, you know, and that kind of thing. I want to kind of yeah. uh, shift a little bit um, and it's talk Steve, about the ISP. Steve, before we shift, we've got a bunch of uh, questions in the moderated chat um, that we may want to cover before we shift. Yeah, let's so, go yeah. ahead. What, what? Sure. Uh, Linda's asking, uh, a map merchant has to pay an additional 125 to be a member of the cash flat back club too. That's correct. They're, they're, they're separate memberships. The map is specifically for merchants to advertising. It's a merchant advertising platform. It's a separate membership from the RSM. So in a lot of situations, instead of making just one sale of one membership, you'll be saying multiple sales. Um, <laughs> John Martindale's asking, uh, when should credit card and mobile app be available to, to new members. Um, that's coming very Tuesday. shortly. Yeah. Tuesday night, yeah, president's Tuesday call. Yep. yep. Be on that call. Um, there's some back end stuff that just that needs to be done and we don't want to release it before it's a hundred percent ready. You know, then we got to backtrack and all that. So, uh, John's also asking Jeannie check and debit card, um, be involved. Jeannie's getting, uh, Steve, do you want to touch on that? Jeannie's kind of on the way out yeah. and the circuit yeah. taking over. Yeah. Simplify them. Right, right. Yeah, in, in light of our experience with Jeannie, and we certainly are very appreciative of uh, the assistance that they were able to give us in the past couple months and um, getting through a tough stretch there, uh, we just, you know, we're making a transition now to the credit card acceptance as, along with the global uh, black circuit card for our payments going out. And uh, that is going to be our future uh, payments in and out system. Um, so Jeannie will be phasing uh, out here as we uh, roll in the new payment system. So, uh, and that's, we're basically, that's MasterCard and Visa to start. That's correct. Right? That's, correct. If, that's correct. So for domestic, for United States, that's rolling out any day now. Be on the call on, on the 5th, the president's call. But internationally, that's about a month out for that. Is that accurate? Yeah, that is accurate. Yes, yeah, some additional um, steps that uh, they have to take to get all the international bins turned on. Um, mm -hmm. There's some additional additional compliance things that they have to do and so forth. So um, it's a pretty normal process uh, for companies here in the U.S. to to have a delay for international because of the additional uh, security and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of international credit card fraud, so uh, they do have to go through some additional steps to get those all turned on, and uh, they anticipate that that will all be wrapped up by the end of July for international. But for the U.S., uh, we're excited that uh, we expect that all to be announced on Tuesday night. Awesome, awesome. Um, another question on the app. Camera for receipts, that's absolutely a part of it, absolutely simplifies it. Um, that is in there. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Steve, and you know the answer to this. I believe this is accurate. Uh, MAP members will be able to take part in the uh, three for two, pay for you know pay for two with the pro pack up front at 250 to get three full cycles. You know, I haven't contrary, so I will go with the assumption that that's a yes answer, but I have not heard it to the contrary that it wouldn't be covered, so I, I would just assume so. Okay, yeah, that's 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 my understanding as well. So if for anybody listening here, um, that's our understanding. We are not 100% certain on that. We are very certain that it is, but not absolutely 100. So just keep in mind, 99 is not 100, but that's the uh, the general consensus. Um, yeah. What else do we have here as far as questions? Um, when it, when does the map webinar start? We'll be releasing that schedule. Uh, stay tuned to the email. I don't know if Steve, if you have a, a specific lineup well, for how we're going to be, be doing. Yeah, we'll we'll be making a formal announcement. The email will go out, um, and we'll announce on the founders team and everything. Um, uh, I may have that schedule already set up for you know after tomorrow night for the for next week. Um, we got to do a little planning on that and figure out you know what presenters we're going to bring. I'd like to kind of you know we're going to the plan is to mix it up a little bit, get some different uh, presenters on the different products. So uh, it's going to require a little bit of an organization uh, on the front end, but I would say um, we'll already start doing map presentations next week for sure. Okay, awesome, awesome. Oh, John's got another great question too. 
uh, basically talking about services, chiropractors, home cleaners, beauty shops, and that that type. Uh, the map does open it up for services. So we've broadened our base uh, from what people can do. They're much more likely to hit the sixty dollars because they've expanded the places they can put their spending into. So it opens it up a lot for the consumer. <laughs> um, there, John G. There is no video out just yet that is uh, short and concise. If you if you follow Bill Toth on that's T O T H. Um, on YouTube, he's got some videos and some training videos, but they're a little long. They're not what you're going to want to show uh, a merchant for their first exposure. Um, there are shorter videos that are coming. I've seen some of them, yeah. but they're not out public all the way. That's coming we will, shortly. Let me just let me just add a comment to that, Zach. Um, sure. We we will have uh, a couple different uh, videos coming here this next week. Um, I'm going to put together uh, a brief promo video for Map and GRSM, and uh, we'll also have it translated into Spanish, too, um, awesome. by next by next week. And then I believe that, um, you know, we're uh, going to be rolling production to our, our uh, the professional videos that we have had done already in the past that you guys are familiar with. Um, we'll have that level of quality of videos coming out here, too, uh, as they go into uh, production mode here. So, you know, we just kind of, everything being so new, you kind of want to have everything kind of, finalize no other changes and stuff before you go because it uh, you know it's not cheap to make those videos and you want to make sure you kind of got it all settled in before you uh, go to production and I think we're at that point now where there's not any more little changes or updates and then and we can get it uh, get it going but I'll have a I'll have some uh, promo videos available by next week already that I will do myself and they won't be quite as good as a full pro professional production ones but something to get you going with Okay, and this one, I, I don't know the answer to this. It's a, it's a good question. Should someone drop out of Genie at this point? I mean, my first answer is don't drop. Wait until you're on, on to the Circa credit card pl platform before you drop so you've got overlap would be my answer to that. Do you have anything to add to yeah. that one, Steve? I would agree with that. I would just uh, not change anything until prompted to make changes. Um, you know, right now, just uh, Genie is still with us. It's not like the... Uh, um, have left, but uh, we are just going to be phasing into the credit card platform here once everything is turned on. So I think just I would just keep everything status quo for a couple more days anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, that that's the end of the questions. Um, oh, wait, there's one yeah, more. Yeah, we got list of available minutes. services. It, we got yeah, about Jim, ten minutes Jim, left. Okay. Yeah, Jim, there's not a list. Um, it's really open to, to whoever you bring on for, for the map. Your original 10 are still the, the retail, you know, not services. And then the map, people can bring on services. That's correct. That's a big distinction, guys, a huge distinction. Yeah. I want to say, That's Wayne, just, uh, just for, uh, for a few minutes about ISB because, um, you know, I think I still feel – that the ISB is the most overlooked benefit of Savion, and it's uh, one of the, to me, it's uh, one of the greatest values that we offer, and a lot of people just don't fully embrace it, and I'm, I kind of shake my head sometimes uh, wondering why people don't use ISB more, uh, because there's so much value. If you, been to, if you were in Las Vegas and you heard Gary Davis come up on stage and share a couple testimonials about using the ISB, I mean, he talked about... Um, a prescription pair of glasses that has like trifocals and whatever and it costs normally like a thousand dollars retail to order a set of glasses uh, that he needed and somehow through some offers on the ISB he was able to get uh, that set of glasses and correct me if I'm wrong Zach but did he, did he not say he got them for like a hundred dollars yeah I think it was 90 or 99 something to that effect yeah they were you know multiple hundreds of dollars you know it's yeah it was amazing I, I, but, it, I'll give a testimony on it just myself. Um, we got a, a car inspected. We saved fifty dollars on that. Um, we did. Uh, we we actually helped someone get a car rental for a week, and they saved like four or five hundred dollars on a car rental. Wow. I mean, five that five dollars is four complete cycles of your membership on one car rental. I'm telling you, and the hotels uh, are. Awesome, the savings there. And this is vacation season right now. In the summertime, a lot of people are out taking little vacations and stuff. I mean, 
and the thing before ISB, I will I will agree for some people their biggest you know issue with ISB is that they always had to go to their computer and print off a coupon and you know maybe it's not convenient. Uh, they just don't plan ahead far enough to think about using it and they just forget about it. Well, guys, it's in your app now. I mean, once you have the app on your phone, you can spur the moment and say, you know what, I think we're just going to go out to eat tonight. We're not cooking supper. So you just go through the restaurants in your area and find one that is an ISB uh, participating uh, restaurant and, and go save your 10%, 20%, buy one, get one offers. I mean, uh, it's really going to be that easy to save money every day from day one. So as you're building up your cash back, of course, you've got the daily savings with ISB. And it doesn't take much to save 50 to to $100 a month with this thing. You don't even have to really try. And if you mm -hmm. make an effort to use it every day, if you become conscious about what you have and you, you go out there and you promote it and use it, I, I, I really think that it's possible for everybody to save their membership easy every month just with the ISB. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was talking with, is it Ryan who's from ISB? Is that the right name? Yeah, Ryan. Yep, Ryan Monson. I talked to him out in Vegas, you know, in the hall or whatever. Um, he said of their, they have over 300,000 merchants that are participating in, in the ISB. He said about 221,000 of them are set up for mobile. So once this app is r up and running, and I don't know day one if they'll all be integrated, but that is part of the plan to bring all of the all of those instant savings benefits into the app. So not only are we populating this with the twenty percent cash back ones, but also with all the ISB. So now you literally have you know a, basically a coupon emporium in your in your pocket. You know for, for everything under under the sun is already there, and on the back end with the ISB for the merchants now don't take your folks away from bringing people onto the map for the 125 and all that but you can also as an added value after the sale is made oh by the way we can recommend you to the isb platform where not only do you have savvy on members looking at it but this company has been in business for 20 years they've got a whole bunch of other networks that has the potential to bring you guys in more customers that's right and that was my the same thing that the ISB is an after sale, you know, added value that you can bring that business owner on the map program. And look, if you'd like to get some additional exposure with a coupon type of offer that, you know, would be different than map. But if you wanted to get on another network, it doesn't cost you to be on the network other than you have to make an offer of 10 percent or 20 percent off. Uh, and that would be on the business, not like map where they don't have to pay. Uh, they could be added and requested to be added into uh, ISB. So this is just another option. You don't ever yeah, have to do it if you don't want to, but but it's another nice little add-on add -on that you can bring a business owner. Yeah, to be clear, yes. don't take your focus off the map. Put that on your on the back end, you know, after they're enrolled and involved. And, you know, it's an added value for later just to give them something more to keep them as a, as a happy uh, client for you. Don't do that on the front end because um, you're, you're for you to do it. How about this one right here, Zach? What do you think about this option right here that we've been waiting for for like seven months? Which, the receipts? Yeah, isn't that, uh, uh, that's like the yeah. first thing that people ask for. We've been, people. I can't even tell you how long people have been waiting for this, and we finally now have this available on the app. It's going to be so awesome that you can upload your receipts right on the fly into the cloud. Uh, you no longer have to. I know for me, you know, collecting receipts, it's like uh, they get lost. Uh, you know, uh, you know, your kid comes in and uh, spills something on them, or your dog. You know, yeah. does, I mean, it's like they 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 can be destroyed. I mean, and uh, and I, I know I've had countless support questions over the last few months about, well, you know, one of my receipts got ruined. Are, are, are you going to pay this one? Are they going to cover? Are they going to reject it? And now now with the, the app, you can secure those receipts right away, take a picture of them, upload them. You know, um, it's going to uh, be major, major convenient. And, of course, you won't have to worry about losing them or something happening to them. Uh, so that, can, that's pretty cool. Being able to do that at the point of sale, also with your circuit card, 
you can start the conversation in a prospecting type of mode anytime you're making a purchase, specifically if they're in your 10 stores. You know, you could, with the Circa card when you have it in your hand, well, let me get my 20% cashback card. That's an exposure, an impression. They may ask, what is that about? But also, once they hand you the receipt, you can quick take a photograph about it and say, I just want to make sure I'm getting my 20% cash back on this. Exactly. So you're not even asking them if they're interested in the business. You're just making a statement about what you're doing, opening it up for the potential of them. How are you doing that? What's the question? And and so forth. And the simple answer to that, if that's that situation is, hey, I don't have time right now. You got a line here. You know, let me get, get your information and I'll give you a call. Exactly. Exactly. Well, guys, we're going to kind of start to wind this webinar down here a little bit. Just kind of recap again, you know, that next couple days here after we get through the holiday on Tuesday is really going to be a huge call. And I would say in the next couple days, send invites out to all of your members to get on the John Sheehan call. Tuesday night, I know Aaron Tucker with um, the Circa Black Card will be uh, on there as well. And I know they have some pretty exciting things to share with everybody. So you could probably anticipate that that may be the beginning of uh, the new 2.0 as far as credit card acceptance and enrollment into the global card uh, that we've been talking about. And uh, it'll be a, just a fabulous way to come back from the holiday, get the month of July rolling uh, all over the place. And, uh, of course, just to recap once again, that a person can enroll in MAP at present along with the GRSM with an, uh, a pass. Uh, that option is on the order page right now. It is available and uh, that will that will be uh, changing to pass slash credit card here next week. Um, and as far as uh, I think we've kind of touched on everything that's going on that's right now. Of course, the the new promotion and all that we'll hear more about that on Tuesday night as well as the three for two and some of the matching promotion. The other summer of Savion promotion that you've been hearing about, we will uh, get more details on Tuesday night. So, Zach, as we wrap this one up here today, I, I just want to thank you so much for jumping on here. You've added a lot of great information and uh, flavor to the webinar. Appreciate it. Um, no and uh, I know you guys are uh, having a great time trekking around the country. I keep telling you that, man. you gotta you got to turn all this into Jeep because I think that they would put you on TV with all your great pictures and stuff in your Jeep truck. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's not, not a bad idea. We probably And that just goes to – there's something that to be said about that. Everybody you know does network marketing. They just don't get paid for it. What Steve was saying there is we've taken pictures and our Jeep happened to be in the picture. So we're promoting Jeep and not getting paid for it. That's right. You've been giving Jeep a lot of exposure because you're showing everybody on social media. And I know you have a lot of followers. And, of course, a lot of us have a lot of followers. So virally, just a lot of people have been seeing your picture with the Jeep. And you think about it, Jeep has been just getting massive exposure from your trip because you're doing all the things that Jeep, you know, company wants their customers to be doing. You've been out off-roading, you're out in the mountains, you've been going down streams, you've been doing what Jeep loves their customers to do, stuff you'd see in a commercial, and you're doing it, and you're and you've been letting people uh, follow you on your trek and all that promotion, advertising, and again, not getting paid for it. You know, that uh, that's the the difference between you know corporate uh, advertising marketing and network marketing is that we, we we give people a chance to share in the reward. Yep, uh, it's been a blast. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Awesome. Well, this has been a great webinar. I, I hope that everybody enjoyed some of this information today. I hope you're excited as we step in uh, to next week and go full force ahead with um, everything opening up here on the, the merchant uh, side the map, the credit cards, the pay card, all this stuff, guys. July is going to be the biggest month, I believe, in Savion history. You're all going to be a part of it, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing some great testimonials come forth. And, you know, just um, enjoy, if you're in the U.S., enjoy your, your weekend here. Um, understand that uh, you're about to uh, go into a whole nother level here with Savion 2.0. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It. God bless. Have a safe uh, Independence Day on Monday, and uh, there, just a reminder, there is no calls or webinars on Monday night for the holiday. However, we will be back tomorrow night on uh, Saturday. And Zach, one more time, give us, give everybody the approach one more time. How do they go out and promote MAP? 
to the merchant if I could show you a way to get paid to advertise as opposed to paying to advertise do I have enough credibility with you to get 10 minutes of your time ladies and gentlemen if you I promise you if you will write that down word for word practice it say it in your sleep to the point you're so good at it it will make you a lot of money if you can repeat what he just said over and over and over again to a lot of business people it's going to open a lot of doors for you, and you're going to see a lot of explosive things happen. That was uh, that was worth it right there, guys, for being on this whole webinar, that one nugget right there. Hopefully you wrote that one down, double-sized print. All right, we're officially done. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy 4th of July. Be safe awesome, out there. Awesome, everybody. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you, Zach, Susan. You got Have a it. safe trip to LA. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Hi, people.